Hi traders, the market is moving up today. However, Baba is down almost 3% and look at this topping tail. He tried to move higher and failed. That's exactly what I'm trying to find in a gap and go trade. A stock that is starting with a gap down and uh, tries to move higher and then fails. I'm about to short it under 288, getting close, clicking now. What happened? Clicking again. Did I miss my first click? My second click? Or there's something wrong with my platform? Looks like I just missed a potentially good trade. Well, traders, I did not lose any trade. I'm actually open right now with 8,000 shares short in BABA, twice than the, <laughs> the quantity I expected, $30,000. And I'm about to take my partial real quick now because it's starting to move higher and I'm taking now. Took my partial. Wow, that was a $30,000 or so trade in BABA. System L function. I did not see my trades go execute and for some reason they went through and I had a ball. It was an amazing trade. You know traders sometimes you have a system malfunction like that you can lose a lot of money or you can gain a lot of money. 50% of the time you will lose or gain. So this one was my lucky time because I doubled down my size not knowing that I already opened up a trade and in this case <laughs> I have nothing to complain. But theoretically, when you have something like that going on, you can definitely call your broker and they'll usually take care of this. And uh, lucky enough, I don't have to talk to anyone. That was a good mistake and I'm happy it happened because probably I would have taken my partial much earlier and probably not with the size, surely not with the size I just traded. So that was an amazing $30,000 present, half of it at least. Just saw ZM. ZM looks amazing. Look at this beautiful downside momentum and I'm shorting right here. Okay, look at the breakdown. It just came down under the lows. It looks fantastically well. I mean, the first downside momentum you can see here and then a very, very clear bear flag which just took it under the lows and I do expect it to come down and continue. ZM did well traders but uh, as you can see just closed the gap and at the first sign of a pullback which I believe is just about to come I'm going to take my partial about to cover 3600 shares looking at the sellers okay now covered first sign of a pullback it closed the gap once the stock is closing the gap it's likely to change directions Traders, I really like BIB. BIB is down 4%, a bit more than that. And I'm going to short it if it comes down soon under 338. And I'm going to take a big risk here. Also because I'm doing very well today. And also because I really like this trade. 338 is coming. About short 8,000 shares. A big mover. Okay, going short now. Just touched a new low. I think it's going to continue. You got to see the daily of BIB. I'm going to show you the daily soon. It's amazing. Traders, eight points and $61,000, $62,000. About to take my partial, 7,600 shares, about to cover now. Wow, that was a huge trade. And I need to discuss that with you because that was absolutely magnificent. Now, here's the daily of BAB. Yesterday, it moved up over 100 points. Now, when something like that happened, of course, intraday news, then you expect one of two things. One, a continuation then you go long or a pullback because there's profit taking you don't know what's coming next but it did show us that it wants to come down gap down looked like a nice technical formation to go short and it did look perfect like a potential short but it's not just the technical the internet technical formation it's the daily the daily is what just provided me with a fantastic trade in uh, BIB so look at the result here $62,000 in BIB and still riding I've got ZM 8,000 and BABA 28,000 now it's all about the daily maybe tomorrow we go long because it's going to be a short squeeze now take a look at BABA right here when you take a look at BABA you can see that that's a different idea but it's also a daily you need to take a look at the daily at all time BABA gap down two days ago and then there are some people who bought it yesterday because they thought maybe it's going to go up but that doesn't usually happen there's a reason why stocks coming down and there's usually going to be continuation so again you look at the daily it should come down you look at the intraday it should come down the end result you've got two things going for you you've got one a nice technical intraday formation which probably gives you a chance to succeed of over 60% and you've got a nice 
daily, which in fact enhances that and gives you a little bit more, some more backwind because the daily is important. The stock came down very strong recently. It's likely to continue coming down. Never catch a falling knife. Now we've got two good looking technical formations, one on the daily and one intraday. And then you've got a perfect winner. So just an absolutely amazing day, over $100,000 in less than one hour. And don't forget to join us in our Facebook group. It's called TradeNet Stock Talks. And the link is going to be right here below this video. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet Trading Room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004. And its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.